Coming at you live and on demand from the heart of Europe. This is the most badass hockey podcast in all the known land. Ladies and gentlemen, you're tuning into another summer test show, summer solo show from a shop from the point. All right, everybody, it's time to flip on the old camera here. What's happening? How are you? We're going to do a little bit of a test shot right here. I'm going to go live broadcast. I've been way inspired by my friend and I would actually say colleague, Joe Cronin. Joe Cronin has done very successful wrestling podcast, and I hope to earn the right, the privilege from the great Google gods. To one day get live events on YouTube and hopefully we can push that forward. I am Tommy C, a host from the shop from the point. We normally do a podcast, but we've been experimenting with this dual hangout technology. We've been doing a lot of different stuff this summer. Uh, making waves, controversy, fighting with Brian Lampert, and we plan to do the same with you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, right now. We're gonna get in, we're gonna get ugly, we're gonna do it. We're going to do it to it. There's stuff going on right now. Well, actually, there's nothing going on right now. Absolutely nothing. And um, the writers at Puck Daddy, who have become sort of an enemy to this show, even though I do recommend reading them, I do enjoy going to their site. They aggravate me enough to, well, do podcasts about them, I suppose. But one of the themes that I had for starting the show was to kind of go after, um, and I know a lot of people feel the same way, bullies in the media. And we have no better example of that uh, than what's going on right now with Henrik Lundqvist. I want to show you where this all started. So right now, as we do these tests, we're going to uh, check out some of the options that Google Hangouts has. And like I said, eventually, hopefully we can lead this directly to uh, live events, which I really want to do, especially with Jake. Uh, congratulations to Jake Leak. He is moved. He's moved and setting up shop when we start doing regular podcast episodes, because this really isn't a podcast. This is really more of a live show uh, to promote the channel and, and discuss um, what we're doing. But congratulations to Jake. I hope he gets things squared away soon. Let's start it off. Let's start off with a screen share. And I can't do what I want with it course even though I have the window open yeah uh, of course I can't do what I want with it all right let's check let's flip through some things right here Ugh. no no that didn't work either did it wonderful let's try one more thing all right screw it we're gonna go this route boom and we have the vortex perfect stupendous this is going absolutely as well as I could have ever hoped it done. By the way, um, our music was from the uh, great uh, John Freeman Music uh, dot com. Here we go. I think we have it here. Uh, check it out, uh, Puck Daddy, and, and let me know. Let, I'll let you know where all this whole whole thing started as I scroll down. Um, Puck Daddy, of course, really the premier English um, uh, magazine, or um, excuse me, magazine. Uh, blog for hockey. Uh, they do have a lot of the best stuff. They find some funny stuff. It's it's not just all about uh, stats and scores. It's uh, um, uh, a lot of the more interesting things behind the game. But one thing that we are we're, we're seeing, and it started with this. Uh, actually, it started with a tweet that we mentioned in a uh, another live show that I I didn't keep up on YouTube. It started with a tweet from Ryan Lampert where he said that uh, this is the year I finally got. Uh, sick of Henrik Lundqvist. And what he's referring to is recently um, Lundqvist uh, didn't give any co comments about uh, the Russian uh, gay propaganda law. I'll give you a little background on that. Uh, Russia has some kind of law that if you're de deeming to uh, express what they consider gay propaganda, which basically would be gay rights speeches, you are uh, subject to arrest. And, of course, this is an outrage most of the world. This is an absolute violation, an attack on free speech and free thought. And, um, really, uh, it does uh, subject gays uh, to discrimination and uh, legitimizes um, oppression in a lot of ways. And uh, 
I couldn't agree more with that. Uh, where I have a problem with, and I'm sure this is going to be chalked up to being a Ranger fan, uh, because that seems to be the new excuse, uh, is that um, Lampert tweets that this is the you know the the week that I got sick of uh, the summer I got sh uh, sick of Henrik Lundqvist shit, and uh, what he's referring to is Lundqvist um, actually kind of refused to to give a direct comment on uh, his feelings about the law. Now that um, generated a well, I don't say generated. They it it started a firestorm with Ryan Lampert. And uh, this led to an article a couple of days later, thoroughly criticizing. I invite you to go to Puck the Daddy and uh, read it. And basically, it made Lampert out to be, the, or uh, excuse me, uh, Lundquist out to be this horrible person that he's not speaking out against the LGBT community. As if that's what he's there to do. Who the hell do you think you are? Who do you think that, I mean, since when is Henrik Lundqvist forced into the right of gay rights advocacy? Much less foreign gay rights advocacy. He, does not, he is not a, an American citizen as far as I know. Um, he may be a dual citizen at this point. He's Swedish. Why is it up to him to speak, up against, speak out against this awful law? Not to mention the unwarranted attention it might lead to and how it might distract his hockey team going into uh, going into um, the Olympics uh, this coming uh, New Year in Stosi. What kind of impact could Lundqvist possibly have? Well, he's not speaking out on human rights. Well, isn't it a human right not to speak out at all? Is no reason legitimate for not speaking out in this? It's insane. It's insane banter from the like think that Puck Daddy has used their power to enforce. They have gone on record to criticize Tim Thomas and his political views, and they certainly didn't say, well, isn't it great that Tim Thomas has an opinion? Isn't it this great that Tim Thomas stood up to Barack Obama because of his feelings about what's going on in the White House? No! He was portrayed like a kook, a nut job, like me. Yeah, he was portrayed like a kook. So the only opinions you're allowed to have on Puck Daddy are ones that resemble Puck Daddy's opinions. That's it. Otherwise, you're a nut. And if you don't have an opinion at all, if you have no opinion whatsoever, then you're a bad person. You're a lousy human being. This is insanity. Absolute insanity. This is the clearest example of the media trying to influence thought. This is the clearest example of the media trying to enforce a, po a political line of thinking, a political narrative. Because if you're not in, you're out. If you're not one of us, you're bad, and we're going to take you down. Every time. Every time single time and they're doing it with the national hockey league how many other goalies how many other nhl players did not speak out on this issue what if evgeny malkin kept his mouth shut because he didn't want to get arrested when he went home does that make him a bad person why is it henrik lundquist because he's one of the more popular players in the league he doesn't have an obligation to speak out he has an obligation to fight this any way he feels like. Any single way. And Wachinski and Lampert have more than enough right to criticize Lampert for not coming out on this, but they also have the right to be criticized. They are like thinkers. They are the new. They are a part of the new vibe in politics during the Obama presidency. As Dennis Miller recently said, it's so loose under Obama. Well, it's not. The so-called liberal, this is the most uptight times I've ever seen in our media, in our political sphere, in our political, is, I don't know, oh, in the political realm, in the beltway. You must think a certain way. 
You must come to my opinion. Or else. Or else. You disagree with Barack Obama, you're instantly a racist. Your criticism isn't even... It actually usually isn't even mentioned. There's usually another reason that you're criticizing. Wyshynski and Lampert are part of this new thought. And I'm not sitting there, I'm not going to sit there and criticize if you're a Barack Obama supporter. There's plenty of sane Barack Obama supporters out there. But this is what I keep seeing over and over again. You can't discuss the issue. You have to discuss uh, what's behind the issue. In other words, any criticism being racist. In this case, I noticed Lampert took a lot of heat for his article. And then we needed the apologists. We needed Greg Wyshynski. Wyshynski wrote an article. And if I had to guess, the reason Greg Wyshynski wrote this article is because he was feeling the heat. There was a lot of negative comments. Most of the ones that were most liked, as in liked, were pro-Lundquist comments. And that was really, now it's being construed as, well, these people don't care one way or another about gay rights. They are Ranger fans, and Ranger fans are the most ignorant hockey fans in the league. They're the, mo they're, they're the worst, which is, I mean, really, that is an ignorant statement itself. What'd you do? You take a poll? Come on. Ranger fans are no stupider, smarter than any other hockey fan. Believe me. Trust me. They're no worse. No worse for wear. Maybe the guys that call in WFAN in New York are a little dopey. But you know what? Uh, when I lived in New York, um, most of them were dopey. Because it's kind of stupid to talk about sports in a real serious manner. Wait a minute. Yeah, screw you. I'm a hypocrite. I don't care. I want to bully the bullies. Greg Wyshynski has graduated from editor to bully. From editor to propagandist. To enforcing like things. To enforcing his views. So much so that when you don't speak out, you might be a victim of Puck Daggy's uh, political narrative. So much so that they'll try to hang you. And I'm sure this, I mean, if this has everything to do with Ranger fans, just uh, sticking up for Lundquist because he's a, a popular goalie, maybe this has um, more to do with, um, I don't know, shoving shit down people's throat? Maybe you're shocked by the reaction. Just because you don't speak out does not necessarily mean you support the laws in Russia. Look, there's a lot of reason, reasons not to like Russia. There's a lot of reasons. And I remember when I was a kid during the Cold War that liberals like Ryan Lampert and Greg Wyshynski were finding absolutely every way to make excuses for them. A lot like the left makes excuses for the horrible treatment of women in the Middle East. They look the other way when women are murdered and mutilated when it comes to religion. But at the same time, at the same time, uh, they will attack without prejudice any Christian that might hold a different view. This is absolutely outrageous. Let's look at, right now, let's take a look at uh, what Wyshynski said, because I find this uh, to be a bit fascinating uh, myself. Ah, this isn't working the way I hoped. Of course, ah, Google Hangouts. Good thing this is a test, huh? All right, here we go. Uh, so, like I said before, uh, Wyshynski, um, uh, Mr. Wyshynski, he, uh, he had to uh, probably back up Ryan Lampert because they were probably generally shocked by the reaction of a lot of their fans. He has the right not to speak out. So let's check out, uh, let's get it. Let's, let's check out um, uh, Greg Wyshynski's article. And let's scroll to a really interesting hypocritical part during the end. Now, um, uh, Larry Brooks went to um, uh, uh, Henrik Lundqvist, and he asked him uh, why he didn't speak out. And because uh, a lot of this firestorm was created on Puck Daddy. And this is uh, Henrik Lundqvist. The reason I didn't say anything last week is because we had talked before that the Swedish Olympic Federation about the importance of keeping focus on the Olympics and the games and sports said the goaltender, 
who returned to New York from Sweden on Sunday. I agree with that. It's important the Olympics doesn't become a political place. Well, I got to be honest with you, Henrik, you're naive because guys like uh, Greg Wyshynski and other reporters are always going to make the uh, Olympics a political plane. If you looked at the opening of the Summer Games last year and you didn't come to the conclusion that this is not about politics, (laughs) you're sorely mistaken. But I know what you're saying. What you're saying is, Coach told me, keep your mouth shut so we don't get distracted from outside issues. And it's probably better that Wyshynski is... You probably shouldn't even answer answered Larry Brooks. You probably shouldn't even have asked him. I'll go on. I agree with that. It's important. Okay, excuse me. Of course, as a private person, I will express support for equal rights and my opposition to laws that go against that. I think I can use my position to do so good, but the time and place have to be right. Now, that may be, be a cop. That may be, be that may be a cop out. But whether it is or not doesn't make him a bad person. How much you want to bet that Henry Lundquist donates more of his time and his powers and his money, percentage wise, to charity than Greg Wojcinski and Ryan Lampert combined? I bet he does. In fact, I'm absolutely sure of it. Here's what Wyshynski says. Look, I'm not, going to hear, I'm not going to sit here and ask Henrik Lundqvist to be a human rights crusader. Except, but, he's already volunteered to be a human rights crusader by supporting You Can Play. Oh! Oh! Therefore, you get the, tr- you get the option to, uh, he supports um, You Can Play Project. So now, he's in it. He's pricked his finger. He swore to the saint, and now he's a part of La Dopa Nostra. <laughs> La Dopa Nostra. Now, now he has to take orders from an enlightened, college-educated Ryan Lampert and Greg Wachinski, who are not elitists. They only want the best for gay rights. Bullshit. Bullshit. Either you are in the fight or you are not, says Wyshynski. But wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not, look, I'm not going to sit here and ask Henrik Lundqvist if he wants to be a human rights crusader. You're either in the fight or you're not. Hey, Wyshynski, you sound like George Bush right after 9-11. You shithead. Especially considered the deplorable manner of Russia's crackdown. Nobody is denying that what Russia is doing is deplorable. They're killing reporters. They're keeping people from running. They're fixing elections. There's actually bigger problems over there. Much bigger problems than even this issue. But this is a left-wing issue. And the left is usually willing to overlook traditionally other human rights violations that Russia uh, that Russia's committed. In fact, one of the only reasons the left um, is against Vladimir Putin, because they never seem to mind a dictator. They never mind a dictator if eh, they're somewhat on par with their world vision. Is the fact that he's cracking down on other far leftists inside of Russia, namely probably communists. Now, no excuse for the lack of free speech that's going on in Russia. Vladimir Putin is not a communist. Vladimir Putin seems to be a power-hungry maniac. Power-hungry maniac. And this is one of his social issues. Big surprise. Doesn't want people to fall in love. That's, that's, That's really great. But you know who else the left loved? You know who else the left was in love with? Right up until Stalingrad? Adolf Hitler. Because really the only difference between National Socialism and the Soviet Union was one was on the uh, keystone, the crux, their issue, their narrative was race, that would be in the Nazis, and the other one was class, being the Soviets. They are fundamentally the same ideology. Absolute total control over the constituents. Well, I guess you can only call them constituents if there's some kind of democracy. This is the early stages. This is how like thinkers incite fear. 
by attacking characters. Nobody wants to be considered, nobody wants to be considered somebody that's not for human rights. Nobody. So this is the way they're going to get good old Henry, Henry Clunquist in line. This is the way they're going to keep him, keep him one of theirs. This is absolutely outrageous. Absolutely outrageous and everything. And it, it has more, more to do with the fact that um, uh, they really don't have that much to, uh, um, they have absolutely, they don't really have that much to talk about. I mean, it's hockey season's over, so let's talk about politics. We only got four weeks to go. They can't wait. I wonder if they're just jealous of Henrik Lundqvist. I wonder the fact that uh, he's good-looking, talented, an entrepreneur, and successful just really drives them nuts. Well, I wonder if it has anything to do with they went to college, they expected all these riches, and it didn't happen, and athletes, the same guys that have been picking on them and shoving them in lockers for years, have somehow more success. I hope it hurt when you got shoved into a locker. I hope it hurt because you didn't learn a thing from it. You didn't look at that, you know, I'm never going to be like that. I'm not going to be a bully. I'm going to stand up for other people. Oh, no, you're not standing up for gays. This has more to do with you wanting to look important. Look important. This is about to stand above others. You don't care about gays. You don't care about anybody but yourself. Anybody but yourself. All right, I got my rant done. Like I said, this is mostly a test, but I meant every word of it. If you would like to call in, do it on Skype. Do it on Skype. Uh, send me a contact or just dial in. It is a public number. Shot from the point, one word. Shot from the point, one word. You can see it below. Shot from the point, one word. Uh, another thing, you can, you can also follow me on Twitter. Uh, yes, Tommy C. S. F. T. P. Tommy C. S. F. T. P. Welcome. Welcome to the Shop in the Point world. It's funny doing the video. I hate, I, I'll be honest with you, I, I did a podcast, or a, not a podcast, I wrote YouTube videos in 2012 when I first started doing this stuff on a lark, and I, I cannot stand looking into the camera and what have you without switching it back and forth. The problem is with Google Hangouts is if I add other users and the camera flips back and forth, which is, by the way, it's beautiful, the bandwidth uh, really gets sucked up and we lose a lot of the uh, sound quality that I tend to like. I want something to be podcast quality, which is one of the reasons I'm doing this. I mean, that's, I want it to be good. That's the plan, man. That's really, uh, that's really all we got. What is Puck Daddy? What are these jokers up to? And then they write an Asha, uh, let's see, what else, what else are these, these jokers up to? Um... Well, they, they, Wyshynski immediately comes out with the, um, his absolutely boring series of the National Hockey League of Nations. What a snore. I don't think I could get through one of them. Um, oh, this is, this is appropriate. This is, this is, um, um, okay. Uh, yeah, this kind of goes along with what's going on. This is why these guys are so up. Behold! 193 Philadelphia Flyers that watch the paint dry for the world record attempt. That's what Puck Daddy is during the summer. Watching paint dry. Yes, it is. Almost as bad as this. Ah! Hey, I guess we got one viewer, huh? I don't know. I've had it. I've had my test. It's done. I think. Uh, unless that one viewer wants to call in. Maybe. Hi. I'm for gay rights. <laughs> Unless I could think of something else. Let's check out uh let's check out all top. Um what's the big stories today? Mm, seven candidates and uh, the Vancouver race, Ryan Kessler, Henrik Zanderberg denounce anti gay policies. Okay, maybe this is appropriate. Let's uh let's check this out. Um Henrik Zetterberg uh denouncing gay policies. Uh, this comes from Alan Muir. It wasn't long after the Russians announced that the country's while criminalizing propaganda for non for non traditional sexual relations would be enforced during the 2014 Stoshi Olympics. Uh, that clock st started ticking on how long it would take for an athlete to come out against it. American runner Nick Simon was the first to cross the line, dedicating a silver medal that he won at the track and field world championship in Moscow to his LG. 
LGBT friends. As much as I can speak about it, I believe that all humans deserve equality as however God made them. Simons told Russia R Sport, whether you're gay, straight, black, white, we all deserve the same rights. And if there's anything we could do to champion the cause to further it, I will. Shy of getting arrested. <laughs> You know, that's another thing. Lundquist has to go there, Lambert. Wyshynski. He has to go there. Maybe he doesn't want to get arrested for his family. Maybe he doesn't want to be thrown in jail. Maybe it's not his job. That's Pussy Riot's job, I suppose. Being rock stars. Maybe that's the thing. He doesn't want to get thrown in jail. What? What, what, a, what a horrible thing. Human rights is the right to speak and the right to be silent. The right to be silent is just as important. And you cannot continue to call everybody a coward just because you are so used to hiding behind a keyboard, posting yourself with abs posting your garbage without no consequences, no thought, and absolutely no ability to critically think. You cannot critically think. You don't know. It's so easy to sit there and criticize and criticize him and not, or Henrik Wallenquist, and not realize what those consequences might be. It's easy. And you know also knows that this guy, uh, Simon, Simmons. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back to the, uh, the all-wonderful void there. Okay. Let's skip ahead. Yesterday, uh, Perdomson team, team Sweden goaltender Henrik Lundqvist to kind of comment on the controversial anti-gay role, stating that uh, when it comes to the Olympics, I think we should focus on the sport. Fair enough. Nothing wrong with Hank taking that position. After all, not everyone is out to cu cut out to be a vocal crusader for human rights. To his credit, he has come in product for the You Can Play project. Well, that seems fair. Alan Muir. But in Puck Daddy world, he's a bad person. Because they have no ability to critically think. They don't know what that means. They don't know if the coach ordered him not to speak out on it. And why, not, why just Henrik Lundqvist? Why not Martin Brodeur? Why not Patrick Kane? Why Henrik Lundqvist? Is it because he's in the New York letter the area? Is it because that you have to see him so much when you head over to the garden? Is it because that you see what his life is like and you are so brutally jealous because you weren't born with the genetics to compete? And probably the hard work to boot, because by the way, you need both, Wyshynski. I like hockey so much, I think I should be allowed to play. It doesn't work that way. Only the best. And it has to do with genetics. And it has to do with hard work. I am completely comfortable with the fact that I wasn't born with those gifts. Maybe you should get comfortable with it too. Maybe you shouldn't be so insecure. Extremely insecure. Unbelievably insecure. Painfully insecure. Like a high school teenager. Because that's what Ryan Lampert sounds like. He sounds like a child. Like a baby. The world isn't like I thought it was. It's, it's not... It's not fair! It's not fair. Yeah, no kidding. Get over yourself. Hey, if you want to call in, shop in the point on Skype. Free call. Skype call. Shop in the point on Skype. Add me as a contact. Give us a ring. All right. Good time to plug the number and um, I plug the number and then of course then I then I dip out. I think this has been a good test. I heard some of the music playing before, and uh, it seems to be working. And I get to rant and go off and what have you. Usually the show's a lot funnier than this, but then you get me on a rant like this. I, I, think, I, I really think that uh, these reporters should be challenged. Like they challenge Henrik Lundqvist. They have every right to challenge Henrik Lundqvist, but they also have the right to be challenged. And by the looks on Puck Daddy, there is less support for their view that Henrik Lundqvist is a... Um, bad person then there is the feeling that Henrik Lundqvist 
can feel how he likes to feel. And I think, minus a few wackos and idiots and haters, um, both sides of the... Uh, I, I think there's a lot of people that, that, that think this law is awful. I would say even most that think this law is awful, that think that, that, that Henry Conquist has the right to remain silent. Um, and I'm, of course, there's a few wackos out there that um, are like, oh, wow, Henrik's like me, hates the queers. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's a few of those. But that's not what I'm seeing in the writing. In fact, when I, when I, when I look at uh, what they're complaining about with the white commenters, it has more to do with um, they, they, what they do is they set up straw men. They, they, uh, they'll put up a guy who makes an anti-gay statement. And they say, hey, look, the only people that disagree with us are people who hate homosexuals. Not some of the other criticisms. Like, uh, oh, let's check them out. Let's go there now. Let's go there now. Let's check out. I meant to do this before anyway. Um, let's see if it's changed since the last time, so I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> let's see some of the commenters. Da -da -da -da, load up. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Come on, baby. You can do it. Nice internet. There we go. Let's go check out the commenters. Ah, give it to me, baby. What's happening? Do I have to play like a sound effect in between now? Apparently I do. Oh, God. So if you do anything besides the screensaver thing, it actually it tanks on you. Wonderful. Super. And the thing's still loading. They probably deleted it. Couldn't believe it. They probably deleted it. You cowards. Yeah, talk about a coward. Nah, I don't know if they deleted it, I'll be honest. I have no idea. I feel like I must play a uh, sound effect. Let's see. Well, what's wrong with my sound effects now? Horrid. Oh, it's because it's not even on. How stupid. There we go. Oh, sorry, Ryan. There you go. Hey, wait a minute. I think it's the same sound effect Dave, that Dave stole from me when he did his dumb show, which he had to stop and start again to put his stupid baby crying effect to criticize me. But he didn't have the balls to criticize Joe Corden, did he? Did he? No, he didn't. Yeah. Go and get the fuck out of here, then. Yeah. yeah. That's right, Larry. I didn't read Larry uh, Brooks's article. But I'm sure he was a lot more fair than uh, Larry Brooks, of all people. <laughs> Go and get the fuck out of here, then. I'm sure he was a lot, uh, a little more on the fair side than um, good old Ryan Lampert. I'm not sure I'm comfortable being on camera like this the whole time. I wish I could just switch off to something. It's too much, it's too much of a pain in the neck to switch back and forth. Hmm. I don't know. I think I've had it. Let's go check this out. Smoke a bunch of cigarettes. Then uh, download my measly paycheck so I can send it to my lawyer. So he knows what to rate me for. That's a plan, man. That's a plan, man. Ah. Uh, hey, listen, I know we have one viewer, and uh, I appreciate it. It actually kind of helps out that you're in. Um, I, I, if you are listening, I, I really suggest that you subscribe and we have a lot of other videos and we do these best of stuff that we did from our old shows. We're a podcast and we also do some videos and stuff like that, but we're looking to get bigger and better next year. All but a bunch of big plans, uh, doing a lot of experimenting and, um, of that nature and, uh, trying to make the channel better and what have you. Uh, we're not always this politically charged, but I am today. I don't make any apologies for it. Whatever. Not afraid to speak out, and uh, you know what? I gotta be honest with you. If I was, if I was Henry Clonquist, I'd have told those two guys to stick it up their ass. That's probably exactly what they want, because that opens up a whole other, uh, other um, can of worms, I suppose. Yeah. Let me do this. How about we? I don't know. Is that time again? Yeah. I think that's the theme song. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for sticking in. This is the uh, new theme song. Thank you. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> oh,